Scott here, the Ozone Guy. This video is going to be about how to choose the best fan for your Big Blue. This question comes to us uh, through our website at www.blueairproducts.com and it's from uh, David and Jake at uh, Better Grow Hydro or BG Hydro depending on what side of LA you're from. And hey David, let me know whether this answers your question or not. When we're talking about CFM and the Big Blues, I don't care what fan you put on here. You want to put uh, 2,000 CFM or a fellow from Colorado called me and said, well, he wants to put 4,500 CFM uh, through a Big Blue. What I want you to remember and the thing that we're always the most uh, concerned about is plant condition or plant respiration. We want enough fan movement uh, to, to exhaust uh, the heated air from your growth space. Uh, bring in fresh air if that's the way you've got it set up. But what we always want to remember, what's best for the plants? If I can get the proper air flow uh, with a 5 CFM fan, <laughs> great. Do it with 5 CFM. If I need 4,500 CFM, well, then that's what you need uh, for proper uh, plant uh, conditioning. Now, what do we need to do if I am using 4,500 CFM? Or what must I be aware of? The whole thing to remember about ozone uh, as a method for uh, treating exhausted air is contact time. Remember contact time. That is the most important part. It's not CFM uh, as relates to odor control. It's contact time. In other words, the longer that the odor sees the ozone that's being produced by these lamps, the better the kill rate. All I, if I'm running 5 CFM uh, through this uh, Big Blue, then I probably have a greater opportunity to do all that killing right inside the Big Blue because we're, we're using UV light uh, as a sterilizing method and also the ozone. The ozone, the UV light only works inside the tube. The ozone uh, flows in the airstream. So if I want to increase contact time, I need to extend as I increase CFM, I need to extend the ducting length. So let's say that if I had a 5 CFM fan, I might only need, I don't know, 5 feet of uh, ducting or 10 feet of ducting. I'm just pulling numbers out of my butt. Um, on the other hand, if I had 4,500 CFM, I, I might need 100 feet of ducting. An exaggeration, albeit, but I'm trying to make a point. In order to get that contact time, I can accomplish that in a number of ways. I get my contact time inside of uh, the attic or inside of that uh, inside of that space um, underneath the house or uh, above the ceilings that that contact time it would allow me to use a big blue with fewer lamps than I might have to otherwise because again I got more contact time so instead of let's say that I had a um, uh, 2000 CFM fan uh, I was blowing into my attic uh, the fact of the matter is, I could probably get away with a with a uh, six uh, six inch uh, big blue with two lamps. Uh, that where I might need that um, a ten inch uh, for the same air that was being exhausted through ducting and straight to the out of doors or to atmosphere. Some of the ways that's being solved is uh, uh, people are creating as a part of their garden an air uh, treatment space, uh, a scrubbing room as it were. They might use a closet sealed up and all the air is dumped into there before it's recirculated back into the garden or outside they're treating it with air conditioning and, uh, and filtration and ozone. Um, another way would be to go ahead into this uh, scrubbing room and then uh, exhaust it to the, uh, into the outside. Again, CFM is only important for the plants. It's not a factor for the big blue other than you're going to improve the kill rate by more contact time and how you create that contact time whether it's a, a dumping into an attic or into a very long uh, stretch of ducting or um, uh, using a, uh, a scrubbing room the big blue will solve that problem the other way I can do it is if I had a short run of ducting I, it might be better to use a 12 inch uh, which has five lamps um, because then I'm producing more ozone 
and by producing more ozone, then I'm, I'm able to shorten that length of uh, ducting or exhaust uh, because I am increasing the amount of ozone and thus the killing rate. To summarize, I'm not so much concerned about the CFM, only as it relates to contact time. And this whole video is contact time. I hope that you got something out of this. Uh, if you have more questions, go to our website, www.blueairproducts.com. Thanks. This video ran a little longer than I like. However, there's no pat answer to odor control. As much as they want to homogenize it and put it in a little box and say, if you have this CFM or, or if you have this uh, cubic foot, then this is the uh, filtration device that you need. It ain't that simple. Next uh, video, I'm going to show you that you have the device that you need to determine whether you've got the right big blue or not. Stay tuned. See you next week.